Good morning, and welcome to TBA Ceramics. I'm Amelia, and today we're going to talk a little bit about tools you can buy from places that are not the clay supply. And we're going to talk about something I've been excited to review since I started to for the pottery business. A Chicago Electric Slow Speed D-Handled Drill and Mixer. This is a corded tool. According to the website, it is supposed to weigh six and a third pound. According to my whale, my scale, it weighs six pounds, 6.5 ounces. So it's a heavier tool, but it's not ungainly. It's got a, I believe, a six amp motor in it with a max spin of 250 RPMs. So it's a torquey thing. Now, exterior features. We have the back D handle and that actually Do I have it? You can turn it any number of angles. I like mine at a 90. And the side handle is either completely removable or you can reposition it. There we go. That's yeah, still new to me, so I'm not terribly good at blind leading. You can reposition it on the top or on the other side for people who want to operate it that way. You have forward and reverse and then your speed adjustment is actually with the trigger. It is kind of a loud tool. And during the testing, I will play one test with the tool running because it is slightly quieter under load. And if you ever need to service it, it is assembled. with Phillips head screws and I don't recognize the maker's mark for the chuck. It is a keyed chuck. I bought mine on the open box rack so I couldn't actually get the key with it. But the key from my drill press fits it, so it's a keyed chuck. It'll hold up to a half inch bit. And what I'm going to use it for is mixing clays, glazes, and other mixings. Okay, the first test we have here is going to be some white stoneware slip that I had just left to sit around for a long time. It's completely settled out, but this was properly round slip. No deflock joint. And it had... 
this thing is just cutting right through it like butter it is smooth it is clean it it is just going so quickly so wonderfully completely mixing it all up even that thick stuff down at the bottom not giving any problems knocking all the air out it's just going along wonderfully And voila, completely well mixed slip. Now we're on to some hard, well, stiff recycling that's been soaking in water for about six or eight months, and I've been letting it dry out to wedge. And as you can see, it's having no trouble mixing this. If it'll mix this, it'll most certainly mix most mortars, most concretes with very little trouble. And it whips itself clean. Well, cleanish. And now. Now, here's the big test. This is my abused recycling bucket. In here is various clumps of white stoneware that went in in various states of dryness, including you can kind of see a big lump down in the corner. That was a that was a bone dry piece that had gotten fallen off a tray and gotten forgotten about. And this thing is going through this. It, it's not laboring at all. It's breaking up those clumps of tightly wedged clay. It's really breaking down the mix. Getting this all into a good slurry to leave for recycling. And... Even that heavy stuff down at the bottom, it's just getting it up. It This is just a great tool for mixing. If it'll do this, it'll mix anything you need to mix. It really just will. Okay, now that we've got the testing done, we're back at the table, and I have to say, first blush, I think this is really going to save me a lot of time and effort. And I'm actually filming this section the morning after I did the testing, and the clear glaze that I mixed that unfortunately I didn't film has been one of my most settling glazes I've ever owned. 
40 seconds with this and it's stable. <clears throat> and you know what? If you've got it, go ahead and get yourself one. This is a great drill that will make stirring glazes so much easier. Do remember to like, share, give a comment below of other things you'd like to see me review. And if you enjoy these, this type of video content, consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.